class. Welcome back to the joy of drawing. Grab those colored pencils, paintbrushes, and that paper baby. Oh, and make sure you don't have any erasers because us throw says there are no mistakes. Just happy little accidents. Right here, we got this blank canvas. We're gonna fill it up with transcendentalist ideas. Now let's take our Crayola black marker. And let's outline our drawing today. We're starting with you. Pond. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, everyone, take your black Crayola marker. Let's start with our drawing. First, we're gonna start with the pond, the tree, and maybe some little hellies on the side. Nice and big. And we'll add some details later, because, but not too many details though. As Thoreau says, simplicity, simplicity, simplicity. Now, starting with the tree, make sure you're swirling it up. There's mm -hmm. Nice and concise between the leaves and the tree. Let us spend one day as deliberately as nature, not be thrown off the track by every nutshell, a mosquito wing that falls on the rails. That's a quote I throw up for you. And perhaps he has a friend right here. It's okay if you use green for the whole thing, it doesn't really matter. It's your own little masterpiece. Make it unique, for God's sake. Make sure he doesn't have a lot of friends though, because we don't like to rely on those. Individuality is key in this world. It's easy. Anybody can do this, creating your own little masterpiece on a canvas. Everything in this world has personality. It's up to you to make friends with the little rascals. Make sure you guys are working hard. Fine. Let's take our brushes. Let's clean up our canvas a little bit. Nice and even, coating the whole thing. This will set the baseline for our lake and our hillside at the top. Very, very beautiful view that we're gonna have. It's important to be in touch with nature all the time. Now, now that you have done what I told you to do, you're going to beat your brush. Ready? <laughs> Let's beat the devil out of it. So there's no place for Satan in nature. Now, draw it over to the lake. <laughs> I have to color the whole thing in with blue. Don't copy me though. Sestero says, Emerson actually, individuality is key. And if you copy someone, it's like committing suicide. You might as well kill yourself. <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Nice and even. Not as even as mine because individual <laughs> individuality is key. <laughs> this pond is making me think, how do you even get across the pond? Well, you throw out, throw out, throw out your boat, of course. <laughs> 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 
Just draw a nice little bun in there for me. At the canoe. And the paddle. Once you're done with the, the pond, let's reminisce on how it makes you feel. If you're feeling sad, angry even. All those emotions are okay. Now, let's move on to the hillies. Actually, just kidding. Let's not move on to the little hillies. Still got some work to do on the pond. <laughs> Level water. It's always even. Let me know. Starting outside in with your brush. Outside in. Outside in. Outside in. Outside in. Moving on to the other side. Outside in. Outside in. Outside in. Outside in. Then we're gonna move on to the hillies. And it's okay if you make mistakes, folks. Just be brave. You'll get through this. Starting with a nice dark brown. We'll go in with the mountain. I'm liking how that looks. Remember, Good art takes time. You have to be thorough. <laughs> well, I'll be. I think we have a finished painting here. God bless you folks. Have a joyous painting day.